So hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this other video. Today I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a sidebar navigation menu in Elementor. And this comes after my last video that I released where I shared actually how to create a navigation menu, but in this case it was a floating menu, something like this. And so I got a, a question from the Elementor community and someone wanted to know how they can create a navigation menu that is actually like this without floating on top of the content. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's dive straight in. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create this uh, kind of menu, I mean the styling because what you basically need is having this section and then adding two columns and then you create uh, the navigation menu on this hand. So I wouldn't wish to repeat that. If you wish to see how to create that, you can head over to the video. I'm going to put a link up here so that you can uh, go through and see how to create exactly this. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make it uh, a sidebar than a floating uh, menu. So this is how we do it uh, once you have your menu up there and uh, then you create a couple of pages i just have uh, the about page and the home page and you have your pages added to the menu which is here then you will have this kind of setup that's how uh, so i'm basically echoing my main menu which is here that i created and it's the one that is reflected here so once you have your pages created for example the about page this is how the about page looks like and to have it like this with a side by the side you really have to make sure that on the creation part of it edit with elementor when you're creating your pages or your page content you leave a specific column in your section so that it is the column that reserved for the uh, for the sidebar navigation and that sidebar navigation like I have, I have showed you here it is exactly 15 percent of the total section so that when someone is scrolling through your page then uh, the, the header will stick to the position where it is the other thing you need uh, to do when you create your pages is because when you use the header then automatically every the content will be below the header so when you have the content below the header, then it means it will leave white space up here. So how do you do that? For example, um, I'll show you like on my home page, without the negative 550 pixels, my navigation would look like, or my header would look like this. So when someone visits my page, this is how it will look like. So what you do for all the pages that you create, you will have to add the negative top margin so that you have your content move up and level up with the uh, navigation so that is a simple trick i use and uh, just like you see here for the home page content fits well up there but the other thing i need you to know is that uh, i personally don't feel comfortable to use the, the vertical menu on mobile and tablet devices so that is the reason you're seeing another navigation here which i'm hiding on desktop devices so guys that's how you can create a cyber navigation menu with elementor and elementor pro so in case of any questions feel free to let me know um, i'll be happy to share with you and to help you around Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.